So I think John actually really set me up because I think Ignite Talks, I, we've been doing this for, this is our sixth time, and Ignite Talks I think are really great when people talk about what they're passionate about. And I'm passionate about earth science data, particularly from space, and about building communities. And I think that this quote from Scott Kelly reminds us that when we look at the earth from space that really there's more in common about all of us than there is not in common and that we really as a science community need to be building communities together to go further together. So I've thought a lot about this talk and about, you know, for a long time I thought I was a connector, but I think actually I'm a creative container builder. And so this is my example of my creative container. And it turns out that actually I've been a creative container builder for a long time. And my mom had this artifact of when I was creating family newsletters um, where I was shaming my family about their chore, chore work and if we were going to get a dog. But, you know, newsletters are containers. Ignited AGU is a container. But when I brought my two loves together, it was when I was working on long-range transport of smoke. And it turns out that to analyze smoke events, you need to know a lot about the different kinds of data. If it's on the surface, um, all sorts of stuff. And all of those data sets all have the same hurdles. You have to discover them. You have to access them. You have to understand them. And everybody has to do that. And so it's just this really inefficient way to work. So I was, I was dealing with this, and I think that this is another way that we can think about the hurdles of science, because everybody in sort of traditional science is working in their own silos, in their own cubes, in their own containers, um, and we're all facing those same hurdles. So we're all accessing, we're all doing the same pre-processing, and it's really a disaster. And this, what you can't see well here is that this pre-processing is taking everybody in each of these lanes about six or eight months. And then we get to AGU where we have to submit our abstract and then we have three months to, you know, do the work and do something interesting. <laughs> so, you know, it leads to this interesting question and something I've been toying with about why data is bringing communities together. And I think that the science is changing because of the data and that's changing the nature of collaboration and that brings us to ESIP. So ESIP is the Earth Science Information Partners, and it brings people together around those hurdles, across domain, across sector, and across um, the data life cycle, so that we are more efficient in how we cross those hurdles. They have a vision of being leaders in promoting um, collection stewardship and use, and my colleague Christine White gave a talk, a really great talk earlier this week, and she said, you know, when people ask what ESIP brings to the table, ESA brings the table. And that is this <laughs> shared knowledge. You guys, I have 15 seconds. Shh. Um, so the table is this social software that's connecting people. It's these containers, like this one tonight, like um, clusters. And it allows people to come together to solve their technical problems and then to all really efficiently cross these hurdles. And what I wish that this picture showed was maybe like a relay of hurdles, but I couldn't find one of those but somehow like how they're helping each other cross the hurdle. So what we see, and I took this from a talk that Greg Leptik, who was um, a longtime collaborator of mine, gave of we see the community bringing all of this pre-science down to minutes and days so that everybody else can do this science more effectively. So this is my last container, and I'd like everybody to stand up. This is an icebreaker, and we're leading into the um, the the refresh your drink period. But I want you to look for somebody that you don't know and you're gonna introduce yourselves and you have 30 seconds starting now. So go, because the slides are gonna keep moving. And why are you here? Okay, 15 seconds for person number one. Keep talking, keep mingling, keep mingling. No, no, you're good. Keep talking to your same people. Okay, the next person, if you haven't introduced yourself, switch. Okay, 15 seconds left. this. 
that if you want to go further, you have to go together. And I hope that your conversations that you just had were interesting and that you'll look around when you go to the bar and you'll find somebody else to talk to and break out of your cycle. I think that this container, Ignited AGU, is really something special that we do. And thank you so much for being here. Woo!